here's a really cool way to teach kids about the joy of programming. All kids love Minecraft, right? So it's the perfect place to start. Go to learntomod.com and create an account. Costs $30, but definitely worth it. Then start Minecraft and connect to play.learntomod.com. Now I'm in the lobby world waiting for my personal server to start up. And bam, now I'm here. So this is my personal world. Here I'm God. I can mod and I can go crazy and do anything. Let's create something. All mods start with a main function. I program using these colorful blocks. And here's the actual JavaScript code being written for me behind the scenes. Let's ask the world to strike lightning at me. Or more like the location of me. There, that's it. Now let's try. Just click the mod button and it will magically show up as a book inside my mod chest in Minecraft. See, here it is. Let's take it out and right click and... Whoa, whoa, I'm on fire. Ah, help. Whew. Okay, let's make something a bit more peaceful. A drone is like an invisible worker that you create and remote control with your code. I'm going to call my drone D because, well, that's the convention. And I'm just going to ask my drone to create a diamond block at whatever location I'm pointing at. Done. Let's give it a shot. Cool. Look at that. Works fine, huh? But now let's make the drone work a bit harder. We're going to use a loop and say, Hey, Mr. Drone, I want you to repeat this five times. First, place a diamond block and then move up. Do that five times. Should give us some kind of a tower, right? And on top of that tower, I want you to create a nasty little creeper. And then I want to blast it with lightning because creepers are annoying. That's it. Let's go have some fun. Wow, look at that. Electric creepers. Let's make more. Yeah. Okay, a bit cool, but what the heck. Now let's clean up the code a bit. We can create a function called tower and put the tower creation code there and then call the tower function from main. Typical kind of stuff you do in any programming language. Not so hard, huh? So how are you going to use your newfound powers? Create a tale of beautiful roses following you around or wreak havoc on your world. Dragon, thunder. The only limit is your imagination and of course your coding skills. To help you with that second bit, Learn to Mod has like a built-in curriculum with almost 200 interactive lessons. All lessons have really clear instructions and almost all of them involve something actually happening in the Minecraft world, which keeps it exciting. So kids can be pretty much self-guided on this with just a little bit of support. There's also good variation. Like here's an almost finished program where your job is to fill in the missing parts. And here's a scramble, a finished program that is all jumbled up and your job is to put things back together again. And simple quizzes to check that you really understand how the code works. As you progress, you earn badges and points and other rewards like inspiring video clips and things like that. It really does a lot to keep you going. The nice thing about having this visual programming language is that you can focus on learning the programming concepts like loops and functions without having to stumble around with detailed syntax. But since you can also see the JavaScript behind the scenes, you can learn from that and write JavaScript code later. Another cool thing, pre-built worlds. For example, let's turn our server into an imperial city. They're all really cool, but let me just show you this one. Look at that. Isn't that just awesome? Wow. And since this runs on top of ScriptCraft, we can type JavaScript code right into the chat. For example, how about a 30 meter wide rainbow right here? Perfect. So how do you share this with your friends? All you do is type slash open. Now your friends can connect using slash join and the ID of your server. They don't even have to have a learn to mod account, but they'll definitely want one after seeing what you can do. All in all, I've tried lots of different ways of teaching kids to code. And for kids age nine and up, this is just unbeatable. Anyway, thanks for watching. Happy coding. Bye-bye.